Hello everybody, welcome to The Magic Show. I'm your host, Evan Irwin, and today we're going to be looking at the top four match between Chris Anderson and Brian Schneider, um, who I believe may be in his first top eight ever, but uh, you know, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. First up is Chris Anderson, who is playing basically uh, my deck with the correct lands, uh, which is Diego Chan's top eight at World Solar Fires. So, uh, you know, let's hear what he has to say about the deck. It's pretty much Tiago Chan's deck from Worlds, but uh, I didn't have two ivory masks for the sideboard, so I added the third Solar Fusion cut an ivory mask. Uh huh. <laughs> so, what do you think about this matchup? It's Dragon Storm. He did. There's not a lot you can say about it. He just does his thing. I do my thing, and his thing is usually better than my thing. But you got a strategy at this point, which is sort of what, like gain life. Yeah, that's when he about goes it. off. Uh, try to gain a little life. He goes off right at the board, but it, it never works. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, sometimes it works, but it never works. <laughs> so you, you think you're going to make this? Because last time, now I didn't have it on camera, so this one, you, you, are you sort of confident? No, I was like, I actually did feel better about my last matchup with the uh, you know that Avalanche Rider you know, beat Solar Fire Star deck. Uh, then I do against Dragon Swarm. It's just, wow. I don't know. I hate playing against the deck. Well, good luck. Thank you. I need it. And what's your name? Uh, Brian Schneider. And what's you playing? Dragon Swarm. How's it been playing today? Uh, good, good. Where did you get the list at? I just built it. Oh, really? Yeah. No list online or anything else? Just basically came up with it. So this is sort of a homebrew, your own uh, build of it? It's like the net decks, except it's about the same. Pretty much? Yeah. What was your record for the top eight? Uh, 5 one, one. Five, one, one? Yeah. What did you lose to? Uh, land destruction stuff. Oh, so just LD got gotcha. you? Just kind of got better me. Yeah. yeah. So other than that, you pretty much just swept all the matches? Uh, about, yeah. Right. So do you know what he's playing? Uh, not exactly. No. But you don't really care because you're Dragon Storm. <laughs> so you're basically just gold fishing. Just win. Thing. Just win. Good luck. Okay. Sure. Watch it. 
Okay. Oh,
wipe them right here. Yep. Yep. Very flame. Yep. Sing song. A storm of dragons for three. Two storm in the original. Take one. Oh, Me? Okay, I'll take one and reman the second copy. Okay, I'll get a second dragon and get you for Swing with court source. Lock wheels. They die. Yes, they do die. <coughs> So what do you think there, newbie? Uh, I'm pretty lucky. Uh, <laughs> I drew, what, three helixes in the last game and a fitters. Uh, that's, you know, kind of lucky. But uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. It's like when you go to the doctor and you get a shot and you're all like dreading it. But, you know, you get it and it's like, that doesn't hurt. <laughs> then they give you the lollipop. So what you're saying is you're seven and he is an old man in a white coat. Yeah. And he could hurt you, but he won't. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's very interesting. That's exactly what I'm saying. Totally. So... So I'm looking through the deck lists here, and I'm also looking over what they had sideboarded, and Charles had sideboarded in uh, three face fetters for a lightning angel, a demon fire, and a sacred mesa, and I certainly agree with that, but I also wonder if he wanted to bring in the giant solifuges for the lightning angels, and if he didn't, exactly why? Um, because you're still paying four mana, but you're getting four damage out of it instead of three, and it's also a little easier to cast, not to mention that Brian would practically never have any blockers. So, um, in terms of what Brian sideboarded in, he brought in four Wipe Away, and let's see what he had for options here. He had Wipe Away, he had Ignorant Bliss, he had Shadow of Doubt, and he had Defense Grid. So, pretty much nothing. Uh, I guess the Wipe Away was the idea that he can sort of disrupt the other player, but then again, he took out the Giga Drowses, which I figured would be better, because you can keep him off, you know, his Demon Fire turn continually. Um, with that said, you know, by all means, take a look at the deck lists below and, uh, you know, share your thoughts on the forums. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with the top two match.